you work hard planting seeds for the flowers before harvesting them out and giving them away to other people who need it. You may be chosen, chosen unwilling, but seeing people happy after buying flowers, your hard work does feel satisfying. As you were planting seeds for another batch of flowers, you heard the sound of digging somewhere. You look to your left to see a person digging at the place where your flower successfully bloomed. The person rises her upper body, and you see what appears to be a black witch hat, black, black witch hat on her head, and your perfectly bloomed flower on her hands. The soil covering the flowery roots, I'll bet it they are falling off from the hand in little pieces. This one looks very tempting to smell at. Um, uh, miss, I wouldn't smell if I were you. That one makes you fall in love with yokais. You hear a little e eep sound before seeing the girl placing the flower back along with the soil. She runs towards you in her somewhat modern witch clothes, consisting of black vest and skirt, and a white underskirt and white waist apron. I guess I should really ask you for the types of flowers. <laughs> Do you have one that makes a person more, you know, wanting to go out more? I have a friend that here that is always lazy and irresponsible. Yeah, sure. I think these bouquet of singularity would do just fine. Is there anything else? Is there anything else that um, excites love, like human to human love? Because that friend of mine doesn't even have a time for things like that, apparently. Marissa crosses her arms and pout, obviously bothered by about that friend of hers. You, I can provide it. I'll just add a bouquet of omni preference and essence of pride to your request. That will get her to go out and get a boyfriend, I guess? You laugh in a way to make the mood better between you, but for some reason she doesn't seem to brighten up. Okay, so who should I send these flowers to? Raymond Hawkrate, but we will come to collect them. Just put my name on it, Marissa Kiwisame. You write her name down on a basket and prepare the requested goods. When you looked up, you noticed she had her she had run toward the place you usually rest and is already sipping your tea. You decide to take an early break and walk to enjoy tea with her. Ah, so refreshing, you know? It took me some time to find this place, but I found out it has beautifully dangerous flowers and a very nice tea. And that makes the journey all the more worth it. Glad you like the tea. So this friend of yours, Raymond Hawkery, can you tell me more about her? Marissa looks at you, her eyes are there wider than before, and places the cup of tea down after sipping it. Well, to begin, she is meant to deal with any affairs regarding humans and yokais, as she is the shrine maiden of the Hawkery Shrine. Due to that, she doesn't have much of a life other than exercising ghosts and dealing with their problems. I originally fought against her at the start, but seeing her but seeing her being but seeing her being uh, so much more powerful than I, and seeing her put less effort than I do just makes me more curious about her life. So I decided to train with her and the purpose of getting stronger myself and checking out what she does in her daily life. We eventually hung out together and I managed to make her see how wonderful the outside world is, though I really wanted to bring her out more to the places that I know uh, we can enjoy being together. And then the problem comes, she is too lazy to even move for an adventure. She kept on giving excuses, saying something about having to take care of this village. Come on, I had to take half of her job just to free her schedule, and then she said that, oh no can do. I found the sun is coming and saw this once and for all. For a very powerful witch, she sure doesn't seem to enjoy life at the fullest. Hmm. Marissa pops again, but this time you can see she finally like everything from her go. Everything out of the system? Yeah, I just wanted her to be, um, my boyfriend. You almost choked on your tea as you scream. Her what? Anyway, eh, anyway, thank you for the tea. I'll come back with Raymu. And we'll solve this once and for all. Marissa hurriedly ran off as you looked at her. Sighing, you finished your tea and got up, ready to complete her request along with others. Oh, it looks like someone just received a flower request for the first time. You saw the last gardener appearing and cheering for you. So these are the so-called flower requests from the people in Gisokyo. It seems like they come here because of, of some special? So that's incorrect. Special properties of, of these flowers. Yes, these flowers have some magical properties that, that could mend any relationship regarding to one's preferences. It works all the time. Do these flowers really have some power? How does it mend relationships exactly? Well, these flowers just does its job. No need to stress about the details. Imagine that they are, they are the faded items that brings people together and you are the faded person that takes care of these faded items. Um, seems like my role is important. Just do your best and remember that, that my notes have mentioned on how to craft requested goods and submit the request. I will see you later. You felt a bit puzzled about the flowers and its properties, but she vanishes before you could even ask her. Take a look at the notes that she gave again. How to craft items. On the right on the right of your inventory window, there is a crafting section. Of, of, it shows items you can craft and required materials for it. Once you have the necessary materials in your inventory, click on the box with your desired items to craft it. How to submit requests. Below your inventory window, there is a request section. It shows the necessary items to complete the request. Once you had all of the items for the request, you can press the submit button to submit the request. I 
still can see it. Okay. Okay, wait. How do I go back? Okay, A. What? I wanna, oh, oh, E switch, okay. Okay, I need a lot of shit. Um, uh, singularity, uh, it's this. I need a rose. I need one at least. Um. Okay. Well, this is bouquet of singularity. Uh, it's this one. A rose, that, and a... Which I have... Calamus. Oh, no. Is that the right one? Oh, yeah. I, 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 wait. Calamos? Cala... Either that's a typo or I'm correct. I'm assuming that's the right one. It's made a typo. Okay. 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 So, I still have a long way to go before I can do any of that. One rose, and a gladius. Uh, how do I make more space? I guess I can't make space at the time being. There you go, E. I think this would be optimal for now. Okay, so let's... Did I sell it or oh fuck? I was I was trying to I was trying to submit my bad whatever that's not that bad I, I can I can just make another one Yeah I just put one here
How is it in the menu? Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, so I can't sum Okay, so I need to make everything first before I can submit it from the understanding. So I'll need to make the, the blue one next, which is sunflower, violet, and love in the mist. Okay, fair enough. And then I have to make this one. Uh, oh fuck, I gotta make a lot of shit. I do, don't I? Whatever. Whatever.